Hi guys, um, back to do a uh, recent-ish vinyl finds. Um, I haven't done one of these for a while, I didn't buy much in the run up to Christmas um, <clears throat> because I just didn't have time. Um, so I've picked up a few things since Christmas, um, once everything's died down a bit. Um, so. I'm going to show them now. Um, first off, though, I would a while back, um, Bill or Devarada, was it Bill's Box of Sound, sent me. Well, he had a competition and basically he sent a prize to everyone, and he sent me um, a couple of albums, um, and in it was uh, this, which is his album um, called Cheese Sandwich. Um, now it took me a while to get around to listening to this, I must admit, um, because I don't have a CD player set up at home, so I waited until I was on a delivery route that I had a van and I took this with me one day and uh, listened to it um, a lot and it's really good. Um, I think I was thrown by the artwork um, but yeah, um, this is brilliant. It, it's a kind of mixed, mixed bag. Some of it I maybe wasn't quite so keen on, but the kind of longer, um, the longer tracks on it, like um, what we got, I think possibly checking in and potato preserves, uh, close to drowning, were were really really good. Kind of. Almost kind of verge on space rock, really, but yeah, which you know, from the cover, I'd have thought it was more punky, but yeah, fantastic. So, if you're watching this, I've not seen you doing anything in the VC recently. Um, fantastic, thanks, thanks very much for this. And if anybody's out there, um, hasn't heard this, definitely, definitely give it a give it a spin. And if this was the one that you were trying to get the Kickstarter to get pressed. I honestly can't remember which one it was now. Um, if you try again I'll I'll chip in because I'd like a copy of this on vinyl because it's, it's really good. Um, so on to the actual records that I bought. Um, I got this when it came out. Um, this is the yet another best of. Um, amusingly entitled Nothing Has Changed because the track listing is basically the same as um, most of his other greatest hits, um, apart from it's got um, Sue and Where Are We Now on it, which are the two newer newer tracks. Um, and this is on Parlophone as well, which is the first of his releases, I think, to come out on Parlophone. Um, so I picked this up. Um, Beautiful pressing, really, really nice. I'm not going to bother taking it out of the sleeve. Um, but yeah, really good. Um, and around the same time, I picked up um, this, which is the 10 inch um, single of Sue um, with um, To Pity She's a Whore on the back of it. Um, now, this was released in the US for Record Store Day, um, but with a Columbia, on the Columbia label, which I'd really like to get hold of, actually. So if anyone over that side of the pond has it, um, and fancies a trade or something, um, I'd be interested in it. Um, yeah, really cool. I love these old... Uh, Richard, uh, yeah, Richard Hawley released a whole series of these... Um, old 78 style um, 10 inches um, but they're yeah, really cool um, then I've picked up this which is now I've been after for a while um, which is Organism um, by Jimmy Tenor now Jimmy Tenor is kind of a Scandinavian Scandinavian it's not Swedish I have a feeling he's from Finland, maybe. 
Sweden, I think it's Finland. Um, he's a really good. Um, well, this is it's, it's electronic music, but he's also plays I think saxophone um, and uh, other instruments. Um, so it's got a much jazzier, jazzier feel to it. Um, this was released on um, uh, Warp. Um, yeah, Warp LP 60 this is. Um, so this was around the time that I started buying Warp releases, but this was one that I'd missed. Um, I have quite a lot of releases from around this, this time. Um, and I'm slowly trying to go back and if I can find them at a decent price, pick them up. But this is this is really good. Um, especially the track here, um, My Mind, is just really good. Really good. Um, I can definitely suggest checking that out. It's all over YouTube. Um, but uh, yeah, fantastic stuff. Uh, Jimmy Tenor. Um, then I picked up uh, this album by The Fugs. I've been looking for a Fugs album for a long time, um, but they generally go for slightly out of my price range. But I managed to pick this one up. Um, pretty cheap. It's on my beloved Transatlantic label. Um, the Fugs were a kind of satirical folk group maybe um, it's on the purple transatlantic label um, there's some uh, great tracks on this really good um, uh, which is um, especially this one here um, the garden is open is very much like um, the end by the doors it's got that kind of feel on it um, but really good some of the lyrics are slightly um, infantile should we say maybe um, but yeah really really good um, I want to get some of their late stuff because the two tracks that I'd heard prior to this um, are probably their two most famous ones, um, which is uh, Kill Kill for Peace and um, CIA Man, which are both well worth listening to. Um, you get the kind of idea um, where these guys are coming from if you listen to those. Uh, the the video for Kill for Peace is is classic. The end of it cracks me up every time. Um, but yeah, this is uh, Tenderness Junction by by the Fugs. Um, great kind of psych folk. Um, I picked this up, which I actually haven't listened to yet. Um, Prelude. Um, this is on the Dawn label, which again is another one of my favourites. Um, this album's called Dutch Courage. This is one of the more common, if not the most common, album on the Dawn label. Um, but this was a really nice copy, um, really clean. Um, it was on the Sunshine label. And this came from the same seller that I bought the Fugs album from, so um, it saved me a load of money on postage. So you can pick this up pretty quick pretty cheap but like I said I've not actually listened to this yet um, <clears throat> so I can't comment on what the music is like um, another album that I've been looking for it's got a bit of sticker damage here is um, Nicely Out of Tune by Linda's Fan. Um, I think this is their debut album um, and this is brilliant really good uh, the first track on it, um, Lady Eleanor, is rapidly becoming one of my favourite um, kind of acid folk tunes. Um, 
it's it's really very very good it's got a really haunting kind of intro um some of the singing's a bit shaky at times but um yeah what a fantastic tune that is um and the track here um down um is really good as well um could quite easily be an outtake um or a missing track off the Beatles Yellow Submarine um, not that it actually sounds like the Beatles but it has that same feel um, and probably uh, um, same theme so that's what I was looking for um, but yeah this is Linda Lindisfarne um, and this is on um, the famous Charisma label, um, lovely pink scroll. Um, there we go. That's better. Uh, it's one of my favourites. Again, um, got quite a few things on Charisma. Don't have many pink Charisma ones, but I have a few. But I'm slowly trying to pick them up again if I can find them at a decent price and. Um, this one was, and I can really suggest this, I mean this is common as anything, you can find this album really cheap. Um, so yeah, it's worth it just for this first track, first track alone. Um, and finally, um, an album I picked up um, is this one by um, Bell and Ark. That's uh, Graham Bell and Ark. Now, there's a kind of link here with Lindisfarne. Um, I was kind of researching, and there was a band um, called Skip Bifferty, which um, I think Graham Bell plus various members from Bell and Ark um, were in, um, and also Alan Hull who was the uh, lead singer with Lindisfarne, I think, ultimately joined um, Skip Bifty when um, Graham Bell left. And, uh, yeah, and then I think when Skip Bifty split up, um, Graham Bell got back. A lot of the members from Skip Bifty went on to form Ark, I think that's right. Um, what possibly then found I'm getting confused now. And um, he rejoined them and formed <coughs> this group, Bell and Ark. I think there was something to do with Ian Dury and the Blockheads as well. Possibly some members of Skip Bifty later became the Blockheads. Um, but yeah, this is Bell and Ark. This is kind of bluesy bluesy rock um, but there's some there's some great tracks on this I, I, I'm not gonna say I was disappointed with it um, musically it wasn't what I was expecting um, it's still still very good um, but I expect it to be more progressive um, than it possibly is um, but yeah this is a lovely gatefold sleeve um, Great photo of them on the back there. Um, and again, this is on the uh, famous Charisma Charisma label. Um, yeah, so I'm really pleased to have this as well. So those have been my pickups so far uh, this year. Um, this is coming on for 15 minutes, so thanks to everyone who watched my last video and commented. Um, I'm in the process of getting some VCLTs packages together, um, so hopefully I'll start getting them shipped out in the next week. Um, so, yeah, so thanks for watching, love to hear your comments, and uh, take care.